Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we'll learn about the double wall ring and its proper positioning for interfacial measurements. The double wall ring is an advanced geometry designed for measuring viscoelastic properties of the interface of two immiscible liquids or the interface of a liquid with air. The ring's square edge shape pins the interface in place, making it the only system that can make quantitative interfacial measurements. First, let's set up the geometry. You'll want to mount your sample cup on the Peltier plate beforehand. Next, attach the geometry holder without the ring to the draw rod and zero the gap. Make sure not to zero the gap with the ring attached, as this could cause permanent damage. Raise the rheometer head to the loading gap and insert the double wall ring into the holder. Ensure that the ring has been pushed all the way in and that the chuck is tightened so the ring does not slip. Now it's time to load the sample into the sample cup. If you're testing the interface of two immiscible liquids, load the denser phase first. Add more liquid until the surface just covers the top of the step in the sample cup. If any bubbles are created, remove them with a pipette. Use a syringe or a small glass pipette to draw off any liquid from around the step. Position the tip of the syringe so it is against the step and pull up any liquid. Moving around the edge of the cup, continue to pull off the excess until there is no more sample on the edge. Once the sample is at the same height as the step in the cup and the surface is perfectly flat, we can set the ring at the interface. The double wall ring must be positioned so its inner and outer edges are at the same level as the interface. You can do this by manually lowering the ring and watching visually for the point of contact. When the bottom edge of the ring touches the sample, you'll see the surface climb up the sides. Once this happens, you can lower the ring down by 500 microns, or half the height of the ring, so that it is positioned at the interface. Another option is to use the instrument's signals to see when the ring touches the surface. Set up a procedure in TRIOS for an axial test in compression direction, using a gap speed of 10 microns per second. Next, zero the axial force transducer and start the test. In the graph view, plot axial force and gap. When the bottom of the edge of the ring makes contact with the surface of the sample, the axial force will drop sharply by one or two grams. As soon as this happens, stop the test and make note of the gap height at the point of contact. Next, lower the ring down by 500 microns. This positions the ring so it is centered at the interface. The axial force should be close to zero at this point. The sample and ring are now set up for liquid air interfacial measurements. If you're testing the interface of two liquids, you can load the top phase and begin testing. In this tech tip, we discussed how to prepare the double wall ring for interfacial measurements. Be sure to subscribe for more helpful tips from TA Instruments. Thank you for your interest.